Good morning, everyone. Today, we are camped up here at a bush camp just near Bullock's campground. If you're coming down Wanangatta Road from Dargo, there's a turn off to your right. Um, it's not really signposted, so you have to keep an eye on your maps. And in there is Bullock's flat campground. If you don't turn into that first one on the left, if you follow it around to your right and follow the little track down, it's the next one on your left, is where we are. This is the view. A nice river running through here. Which is uh, nice and peaceful. And then we are camped up here. Sitting in front of the fire because it's cold. And it's just a nice secluded little campsite. A few birds and that type of thing around. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. I'll show you the road in so you have an idea of how to uh, get in here. So this is the Bullock's flat camping area. So there's a few flat spots here and there. If you have a swag, you have to pick a good spot, like I have to. There's a bit of a fire pit on over here. Now they say here is good for swimming. Now, I'll show you in a minute. Well, I don't think that's such a great idea at this time of the year. That's ripping through there. And uh, I reckon you'd end up downstream pretty far. Yeah. I don't really see a spot where you could actually hop in to go for a swim except for down where we are, which is over here. But people do cross down where we are and come back over this side and follow the tracks up there and go up into the bush there somewhere. So it's National Park on this side of the river and State Park on that side of the river. So if you bring your doggo with you, you can't camp on this side of the river, nor can you bring your dog into the National Park anyway. So how you would get over there, I'm not 100% certain. Um, yeah, that's the track in over here, off of one and road. So it's not very well signposted, but gives you an idea of uh, of where we are right now. Um, also, watch out for the cow pats everywhere. There's lots of those. So you're down to the campsite. This is the track we follow. Um, it's quite a few campsites from what we've seen down here. Not just the one we're staying at. So if you follow this track all the way down, you can see hoof prints everywhere too. So there's cattle definitely here. And um, yeah, so down here and off to the that direction is where we are. Um, yeah. If you have any questions. Feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'm generally gonna do about two campsites per video if I don't have enough content on one. So, cause this is fairly small, and there's like no facilities here and it's strictly bush camping. It's gonna be very hard to uh, get it all in one video, but yeah, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a hike. I'm very unfit. So <laughs> this is always interesting. Um, yeah, you know, got the bush over here. Um, and yeah, down this clearing here, there's more tracks. So we don't know where that goes, but we assume there's more campsites down there. And we might check it out tomorrow before we leave. But tomorrow is Billy Goat Bluff track. And then over to another campsite we've never been at. And then on our way out of the Victorian high country. As I was walking back, uh, last night I did have a visitor, like I heard some growling. And I just happened to look down here on the way back. And we have 
paw prints of a canine. So, potential wild dogs last night. Um, yeah, did startle me a little bit. I just stayed quiet in my swag and it then disappeared and ran off. So, yeah, interesting. Keep an eye out tonight and hopefully we don't get another visit because wild dogs are no joke. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Any questions, let me know. I'll leave a link uh, where this one is. And as always, guys, have a good one. I'll catch you in the next one.